what I'm doing out in the middle of the snow, dressed like it's summer. Well, there's a simple answer for this. First off, I'm Canadian, so honestly, I really don't feel the cold. And second off, for our adventure with, wait for it, woo! <laughs> Hanging with Misty today, I am going to show you how to build a snowman. I am so, so excited. I have not built a snowman probably since like half my life ago. So I'm hoping it's just like a bicycle where you never really forget. So whew. how about we say, let's get started and let's build this snowman. Okay, so. Ooh, it's kind of nice. So I live in Vancouver, Canada. So it's really nice, the snow here, because there's so much moisture in the air, it's actually really condensed and sticky. So it makes for really good, solid snowman building. I gotta make the ball super steady, so when I keep rolling it, it makes it really, really big. So you can see here, I'm getting the shape of it all down pat. And warning, because there's so much moisture and water in our air, the snowman gets heavy really fast. Oh my God, this is heavy snow. I keep firming out my base here. I think I could probably last a couple more rolls until I'll have to make him stationary. Okay, I think we have reached a part. I think I'm going to be able to keep rolling him. That is heavy. So I'm gonna kind of pack him on and bring the snow to him now because my arms cannot roll this any further. So I'm curious, when was the last time you guys built a snowman? And I hope this video inspires you to make your own winter time best friend. <laughs> now that I've kind of got the solid base, I'm gonna kind of smooth out the sides because I want to make him as smoothly round as we can. So I'm gonna just take my hands like this and kind of just rub the sides a bit. You really want to shape your snowman. It can sometimes be hard, especially with like snow that's a bit more dense, like the type of snow that's found in Vancouver. However, just apply a little bit more pressure and you still should be able to do a really good job of smoothing them out. Or her, you can build a female snowman. All right, so now it is on to the second layer I am gonna build, because I've got to give the snowman a middle layer. So I'm gonna start by packing on the snow like this to create as round of a ball as I can. The more round you can get it before you start rolling it, the more likely it's going to be round when you roll it. Okay. Okay, I think this is almost at its ideal size. So I am gonna start shaping it and getting it ready for transport. <laughs> okay, we're gonna practice safe body mechanics when lifting your snowman, okay? Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> um. I think we might have a slight problem. I'm, I'm gonna just try one more time. <laughs> In proper body mechanics, if you can't lift something, do you know what the next best thing to do is? Call for help. One moment, I am gonna go see if my dad is home and I am going to kindly ask for his help lifting this snowman, just like the good old days. <laughs> One moment, dad, dad. Okay, so I just called my dad for help. So father of Misty, let's take on over. He lifted that so effortlessly. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so after a little bit of minor difficulties, remember, always ask for help. We are back on our snowman building and sculpting. Also, I love snow. So this is honestly probably one of my favorite videos I have ever made so far, because I'm in my element. <laughs> 
This is a beautiful, stunning, dashing, handsome, phenomenal snowman if I ever did see. I think this has got to be one of my best snowmen. It's time for my favorite part. We are going to build it a head. <laughs> So I'm going to make the head small enough that I can transport it myself. There we go. We are almost done the shape of the head. I think this snowman is ready to truly come alive. And do you know what a snowman needs to come alive? I give you a hint. It's arms. So I'm going to go into the forest right now and I'm going to go pick out some arms for this abominable snowman. You can follow me into the forest. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to try to find a stick on the ground because I do not believe in taking them off trees. It's kind of a good stick. Okay, I really like this one. Let me see. Yeah, we're going to go with these two. I have found my winning sticks. <laughs> we are going to put the arms in here. I'm going to drill a hole. There we go. And there is arm number two. Now, what else do we need? <gasps> a carrot nose. That's what we need. All right. So I've got the box of snowman supplies. Nose should be about right here. There we go. Now, I'm also going to give my snowman some googly eyes. <laughs> that is adorkable. Adorable and dorky, adorkable. If you guys can't tell, I absolutely love the color pink. I even got pink in my hair and pretty much 95% of my outfit is pink. We're going to give it a pink smile. That is the most adorkable smile I have ever seen. My snowman looks a little bit cold. I've got a solution. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you guys think? So I would like to introduce to you Mr. Adorkable the Snowman. <laughs> I would like to take full credit for this name myself because I truly think I named Mr. Adorkable the Snowman on point. <laughs> and he seems really happy about it, like he's smiling. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Adorkable? <laughs> oh my God, that was so much fun. I really hope this video inspired you to make your own version of an adorkable snowman. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, but this is the sad part. <laughs> I'm procrastinating the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging with Misty and the adorable snowman. <laughs> we honestly had a blast with you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. And be sure to check out my OnlyFans down below. And I'll see you guys on next week's episode. Don't miss it.